Welcome to Nintendo Key Channel. I am Danny. I'm very excited to be unboxing this in the modern day. This is Star Fox for the Super Nintendo, originally released in 1993. Now this is my child copy and doesn't contain everything that you would just have you have purchased the game and then you open it for the first time. So I thought it'd be nostalgic and cool to look back uh, today on this classic title. And it's one of my favorite franchises for the system um, and also entirety of uh, every game that released thereafter. So I'm going to give you guys an overview of the cover and everything around before I get into it and show you what's inside. Of course, I, one thing that grabbed my attention back in 1993, when I first went to the store, I see this uh, puppet-like creature in front of the cover. It's not like any other uh, game that you've seen in the past. And that really, again, caught my attention and grabbed me right away to look at what's, what's this game all about. And uh, of course, they have a little slogan here. It says, Revolutionary Super FX Micro Trip Creates Special Effects Like Never Before. And you're wondering what that's referring to is the super fx uh, chip that is contained in the cartridge and it's represented by this logo this so my knowledge is one of the first games that does use that chip to create the 3d effects for the game and of course uh looking at these screenshots i was mind blown by that and definitely got on board with it all right so going around the box you have a really nice side panel of the star fox crew and the logo on the side panel here just the star fox logo same thing on this side, on the bottom, just the Star Fox logo and black with the Nintendo logo right there. On the back side, this is where it gets fun. You see Star Fox by himself and the rest of the crew right here. Again, representing with the uh, Super FX chip that is contained in the cartridge. A little bit description and I, what I love about it back in the day, you would read that and kind of get into see if it's a game for you along with these screenshots. And of course, you see these are in 3D. Um, very different, advanced for the time, and of course, being young, this looks amazing because we advanced three. You know, the 3D has advanced quite a bit since 1993, but this is where it all began for me, seeing 3D. All right, let's open this up and show the contents inside. Now, pulling out the contents right away, you're greeted with the cartridge. I'm gonna put the cartridge away for a moment, and I'll get back to it. Just go through everything in case you've never seen it before. This is typical for Super Nintendo releases, the uh, consumer, in, consumer Information and Precautions booklet. Nothing too exciting, just safety information. I'm just gonna go quick, you know, let you see it quickly. It's not fun. This is not usually what kids don't wanna look at, right? <laughs> okay. Now putting this aside for now. This is interesting. In early Super Nintendo releases, they have this little message here, uh, a paper saying, Always turn the power switch of the control deck off before loading or removing the game pack. So that's very important because um, I guess kids would just yank out their, you know, their cartridge without turning power on or, you know, just doing the right order. Of course, you got to be safe, right? This is interesting. As always, any Nintendo release, it has a Nintendo Power Subscriptions um, insert and, of course, the feature Nintendo's mascot, Mario, and this is with the release for the Super Nintendo uh, launch title, Super Mario World, represented by this issue. And the issue for, I mean, I should say a one year subscription is only $15. Wow, <laughs> it's crazy, right? Flipping to the side, you have a couple of images of the uh, player's guide and some screenshots of Super Mario World. So you get to give you tips and tricks and all that good stuff. Really awesome if you've never gotten to Nintendo Power, but I did. So I know exactly what I'm getting to. Next is a really nice treat. I wish they have these in modern releases, but unfortunately, no longer the case. They have a really beautiful poster. It's like an advertisement, but nonetheless, uh, really sweet to see something like this. Showing, uh, showcase some of the early titles for the Super Nintendo. We have The Legend of Zelda, Link's, A Link to the Past, Super Tennis, um, Super Mario World, of course, right? On this side here, this uh, panel here, it's showing Mario Paint with the mouse, if you guys remember that. And this really interesting accessory, I remember seeing this, the Super Scope 6, and some of the various games that works with this uh, very interesting, again, accessory. I, I didn't really get to play with this when I was younger, but I know a few of my uh, classmates did, so yeah. Of course, the creme of the crop of this poster is this other side of the beautiful Master Sword from um, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Really amazing game, a, a classic title, and you should definitely check it out if you never played it. So that's awesome. Now, 
onto the best part is the manual and the manual is quite hefty again they're re emphasizing the super fx chip and this is the same image of the uh, box art earlier opening up wow okay i like what i see here you have the crew uh of star fox and as always official nintendo seal quality you know you're getting quality right table contents this is nice give you a little backdrop of information of this world because oh, this is the first time star fox is premiered so we don't know much about them and they give you a backdrop of andros and what's going on and how the star fox team is gonna uh, see what they're gonna do right you're gonna give you an idea and i of course i love the art that's presented here really nice this is the how the controls so important so you know what to do when when you press a button here is the control configurations. There are multiple ways to control the game. So you can change it in the way you want is type A through D. Um, it depends on you and how you want to play. I usually kept it on default. So it's nice to see they give you different control options here. And this is how to play Star Fox. And they, they're kind of showing you on this side here, the, the HUD elements of what they represent. Um, and also selecting a course because there's different paths. If you guys remember that. These are the items that you'll be encountering in the Star Fox world as you go through the, the world to world. And obviously you get these, I remember these very carefully that they uh, regenerate your, your shield, right? Your health, very important. Um, yeah, this is, this is a blast from the past. I can see the bombs, I love those, helps a lot. This is the R-Wing arsenal, what you, know, you have in, to, to defeat these enemies. They have a twin blaster. Those are the upgrades. You got to get those when you're playing the game. Definitely juice it up, right? Uh, the power shield and, of course, damages that you get when you get hit or crash into like Meteor or other uh, uh, enemies on screen. And, of course, you need to recover, recover from that damage. There is a score in this game. So you want to get a high score. I always remember doing that. Um, you know, that was one of the cool things about the replay value of this game. Get those high scores and continue. Um, here are some of the description of the characters for the first time. You have Fox McCloud, the leader. Falco Lombardi here. Really neat that they have these puppet-like uh, imagery of the characters. Peppy Hare, the, the senior, or should the elder. Uh, Slippy Toad, the one that always needs help. <laughs> I'm, talk I'm probably talking about uh, future entries of the game, but uh, they do have a personality of their own, each one, and they're charming, to say the least. So they have different viewpoints for you to play, That's which is really nice. They have the cockpit mode, the approach mode, and the uh, standard mode. So depending on what you, how you want to play, you want to get up close and personal, go cockpit. If you want to get a little closer, approach, and then standard, of course. Main stages, different worlds that you'll be exploring. And of course, you start out with Corneria, very typical of Star Fox. I love this one. I mean, the music, you just, you can't forget it. The first time you start it, it's amazing. You see, wow, this is a 3D world indeed. You can go, it's not like fully you go all around, but at the same time, everything you see is in polygons and not sprites. We have the asteroid field, the meteor, oh, tit Titania. Fortuna, Macbeth, Venom. Uh, Venom is uh, Andros' uh, home base, right? You're going to go all the way there. Really cool. You're seeing all this. Oh, this is talking about cool. Look at the f the, the formation of the R-Wing here in this art. And that's what I love about these, uh, these instruction booklets. They have art as well as instructions. Important information to get you to enjoy the game fully. Now, this is some enemy information. And they they're telling you like um, the missiles, the the beam, laser, and all that stuff that will be attacking you. So watch out, watch out for those, of course, right? This is the different type of enemy and bosses and stuff. So they tell you right off the bat who you'll be encountering. I'm sure you guys remember quite a bit of this if you play this back in 1993 or maybe later. Like you can also play this on the Nintendo Switch online service now. So if you never played it, You'll give it a play. I do recommend it. And uh, so it's running off here. This is the course map. What's interesting about this game, it has different difficulty. So not only are you going through different worlds, but you have a choice of course one, course two, and course three. Course three is the most difficult. So if you want to challenge, you take that course. So you go through this path. 
and all the way until you reach Venom when you do the final counter with uh, Andros. Now this is the final part of it and just some warranty information and this is the back of the manual. All right, so now going to the main thing as the cartridge here. So as you, as in any Super NES release, you have this cardboard insert that holds the cartridge. I'm pulling it out. This is one of the older style ones, but they do revise this down the line with different releases. This is the actual cartridge. Really nice, glossy label, which is, uh, I'm glad that I was able to uh, maintain its quality. Uh, top, simple, just the Star Fox uh, logo there. This is typical of how uh, the back looked like for SNES. And what's nice, it does have a dust cover. Uh, and then obviously, best uh, practice to use this when you're not using the cartridge, right? Or not in the system. And this is the connector itself. And you're wondering, there's more uh, pins than the standard ones. Like if, if it's a regular Super NES, you would just have this part here and not these uh, two sides of the uh, pin connector. Uh, I guess that's where the con contacts for the Super uh, FX chip is. And that's what produces the really interesting, cool 3D effect on the Super Nintendo. My goodness, going back and revisiting all this stuff. Look at all of this that's included in the Super Nintendo. Ain't that crazy? We don't even have an instruction booklet anymore. And I feel like this is what a way to remember a game looking back uh, in a modern day. Ooh, oh boy. So I'm going to put everything together. Before I go, I thought it'd be fun to show you a little commercial back in the day when this game was released um, and, and kind of get you guys to think about it. If you've probably seen it yourself, if you did, leave me down below in the comments. Also, let me know what you think of Super, uh, Star Fox for the Super Nintendo. It is one of my favorite games. I hope it's yours as well. If, if it's something that you haven't played, give it a try. It is on the Nintendo Switch online service and uh, you can play it there. All right. So... Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to Nintendo K for more episodes like this. I am Danny, and I'll catch you on the next one. You are witnessing a new technology. The first and only game powered by the Super FX Microchip. Why go to the next level when you can go light years beyond? You are Fox McCloud in Star Fox, only for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System.